We have a real movie on this set. Steel Commanders, yeah. I like that, but I'm not gonna say it on camera. It's with Sabat on him, like, okay. <laughs> Do you really want me to answer this? <laughs> We started working with Sabaton back in 2017. It started when we created a unique special style for the Swedish STRV-81 and used the track Primo Victoria in the garage. But right at the beginning of the collaboration, we understood that we wanted something more and we were ready to create something even more interesting and exciting. I mean, we, we were discussing around we needed a fast, cool, brutal song. We haven't done one in a very long time. And uh, we were also discussing together with Wargaming how to follow up the success of the, Primo tank, yeah, yeah. the Prima Victoria tank. And um, then uh, the idea came about, okay, maybe we should do another story in the game. And this time, do it with a new song. And then it was quite complicated. Like, how do you do a, a song that is like taking the whole concept of tanks and tank commanders into like few Works yeah, I mean, song. squeezing 100 years of mechanized warfare into, I guess, four minutes or something, or three and a half. That's tricky business, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Both we and Wargaming obviously want this to be a Sabaton song. So we are absolutely doing what's, you know, absolutely normal for us. Yeah, I mean, we did a song called uh, The Future of Warfare on the latest album. And this was the birth of tanks. Now we have to write a song that is about the continuation of tanks and the evolve of tanks and its commanders. We had to choose the tank battles very carefully because everything from, I mean, the fields of Prokhorovka, which is obviously, you know, a hint to the Battle of Kursk. And sometimes we, had, we chose them because they were important and iconic, sometimes because they rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is that easy. First of all, I mean, Sabaton, the name Sabaton comes out of a medieval shoe that was used by knights. So it's a natural thing that we decided to keep it. And also, I mean, Sabaton, we, we sing mostly about more recent battles and historical events. But Sabaton sings about history, and we go back to medieval times as well in some of the songs, and further back. So it is there, and uh, I mean, a tank and, uh, and a knight, what's the similarity between it? Well, both of them are heavily armored, for, for sure, and both of them are always in, in the heat of the battle, so to say. We had a rather difficult task. We needed to connect knights, tank commanders, and our game World of Tanks. We tried to combine all these elements with a single story in this music video. We started developing the plot for the music video a long time ago. I mean, we were working around different concepts for the idea of the tank in the game. And uh, when we eventually came to the idea that we're gonna do something called the spirit of war, we started to work with different concepts, like what is the spirit of war? How does it look like? How does it feel? What does it do? And eventually, how do we tell this in just a few minutes of footage? The key element and the main idea of this music video is the spirit of war. It's an incorporeal substance that flies over battlefields searching for the strongest warrior through which it can realize its power, strength and energy. And as we can see at the beginning of the video, the spirit of war finds our knight and possesses him. And you've seen the rest. The script itself is pretty unusual. The band loved it immediately because it was really something neither us as a company nor the band had ever done in their music videos. They never had such unusual stories. When they told me about the project, okay, we're gonna have knights, we're gonna have battles in the 15th century, we're gonna have tanks through the ages, we're gonna have this, uh, all this explosion, all of this VFX, and it's with Sabat on them, like, okay. COVID, of course, was a big surprise for everyone. In 2020, we initially planned to start shooting in the spring. We had a script written, had chosen a director and gathered a team that would deal with the production itself. But about a month before the shooting was supposed to start, the world just stopped and everything closed down because of the pandemic. 
And at one point, I'm sitting here in Minsk well, a little bit more than one year ago. The director, Julian, was also here, but in a hotel room and we couldn't meet. So we were having calls in the same city. Then we understood that. Unfortunately, it was impossible to shoot a music video the way we initially planned under those conditions. We had to look for a better opportunity to make it happen. In early 2021, we contacted the director and the band again, started discussing our plans and the possibility of releasing the project in the summer of 2021. And then we started actively preparing for filming. It took a long time to select a suitable place, city, location, and time when the director, the band, and our team could meet to organize the shoot. We chose Minsk as the location, and that's where we filmed the video in the middle of May. We're, we're musicians, first and foremost, so going out of your comfort zone into all of a sudden an actor, you're really grateful to have a good production team behind it and a, a good director who can really guide you through the whole process. Because actors are called actors for a reason and musicians are called musicians for a reason, you know? We built a whole story, a whole almost mythology, going from the 15th century to uh, the Second World War, where we, we explain and, and show this, this uh, spirit of war, how it evolved, how it goes from people to people, tank to tank, and choose who is the most valiant and skilled and um, who deserves most to have that power. And then we want to show that STRVK in the, in, the, in the coolest way possible. And so automatically, they, they both go hand in hand. The spirit of war in the end choose the STRVK, meaning that it's, it's the best one. And so the whole film has this kind of um, culmination point where the so, so STRVK and Sabaton, which is its crew, prevail and, and, and deserve ultimately the spirit of war. I was playing the commander, and that entails being grumpy and yelling at people, so it comes naturally to me. <laughs> and one of the hardest things is, I think, is when you're in the shot, but you're not the one in focus, but, so you're, you're basically a prop in the background, and to act naturally then. That's because... how I've been feeling for years, man. <laughs> Listening to their song is one thing, but working on their song is, I don't know, the energy. It's, you cannot not like it. It's, it, it's not even liking it, it's, it's just, it pulls you up. It's uh, so many times I'm working and I'm like grinning, just feeling the, the, the power of it. My character, the loader, <laughs> you know, I had to get, get into character. Uh, a big muscular guy, very silent, doesn't say anything at all. A lot of CGI. A lot of CGI. <laughs> and then at one point he actually gets his opportunity to show what he's made of to bring those heavy shells, the ammunition, and load it into the, to the cannon. And uh, it was fun, you know, to, to play this, uh, to, to do this character, but as Hannes was saying, we, uh, we're not actors, we're musicians. And for this shooting, I, I get to be Hannes in the back, uh, in the tank, sitting there with my headphones and listening to good music, though. So I had a good feeling all the time. I was tuning in on the radio, rock stations all over listening to classic rock music. No, there was nothing on the radio, unfortunately, but I had to pretend that there was something good on the radio or interesting that I could give, relay the information, like there's something coming at us or we're moving this way or whatever. And as you can hear, nobody wanted to be in the front, in front of the camera. <laughs> Everybody, ah, I love being in the back, you know, so who got the job sitting in front of the camera? This guy. So uh, yeah, I got to be the driver, which was hilarious because I was sitting on a, like a piece of brick, <laughs> just jumping around. But it was, it, was, uh, it was great fun, you know. Artists like Sabaton, they, um, they give it all in the moment. It's, uh, it's instant. And that's how you get that energy, you know, it's because it's, it's direct from them to you. You listen, it's like there is no lapse, no. But when you work in, in movies, when you work uh, what I do, it's preparation for months and months and months and you have to calculate you have to organize you have to so here it's um, that that's that's again my job to make that energy happen even though it's not direct you know we, we build all these things and we arrange them in a way that visually you get that energy 
even though it's not it's not something um, spontaneous like, uh, like like when we are playing. But we need to match that. We need to get that same spontaneity felt uh, in, in our work. So it's um, it's a challenge. First, you walk into this big factory, and my first thought was, okay, there's some cameras in this old uh, factory, you know. But when you start looking, everything that's there is there for a reason. And when the fire started to burn. Uh, for the final takes. I mean, I was standing kind of in the front and I just look around before we were shooting and I look at Hannes and I was like, this is probably the coolest setting you have ever been in because everything around you was burning. Yeah, and so I and, sat with my back against yeah. you a long time, just enjoying the view <laughs> until the director goes, are you here? Like, oh yeah, sorry, turn my chair around. <laughs> It was a very long, hard day, a difficult, rainy day in Minsk. Filming basically lasted 24 hours. All the time the band was on set, they had to act out every scene. But they were amazingly professional and worked as hard as they could. We hope that the energy they showed on set will be visible to the fans of the band and to our players through the music video. The name of the band Sabaton speaks for itself. It's a plated boot. And of course, the thing the plated boot is associated with is knighthood and knight armor. This was our inspiration when we created the visual image of the Spirit of War 3D style. How would a tank carrying Sabaton, Spirit of War, and history of warfare in all that in one tank? How would it look like? And this was something we were working on so many, for so long time. But I think that the end result is like, there it is. It captures the, it's a rock, hard rock tank. It's the, a Sabaton tank. It has some Swedish in it. It has a lot of Sabaton in it. And it's carrying this metal. And it's a lot of heavy metal in it. We wanted to pick an interesting vehicle for such a 3D style. It had to choose between several tanks. Of course, we wanted it to be a Swedish tank. And we knew our players would understand that too. The unique feature of this tank is that it will be the first tier 9 premium vehicle. So, uh, the Sabaton tank in the game is the STRVK. And uh, it's actually the STRVK Spirit of War. The same Spirit of War that we also have in the music video appears in the game as well. And that is uh, how the story of it in the music video, starting with a knight in medieval times, traveling and eventually ending up in the Sabaton tank in the video, and then it's introduced in the game. So when uh, the people are playing the game with the STRVK Spirit of War tank, they could watch the music video and understand where the Spirit of War comes from and understand why it's shining. So guys, to hell and back. So guys, to hell and back. When we did the Primo Victoria tank, I did a lot of voiceovers. Uh, I did them uh, on my own in a hotel room you know, when we were on tour. Uh, however, this time we went, uh, well, I had the producers of the game there and they helped a lot. And I gotta say it was much more fun this time because one, obviously when joking around or testing things, if I'm alone, in a hotel room, I don't know how far I could take it, you know? Can I make a joke here or should I just be do the line strict? And we're having the producers there, them telling me more, harder, stronger, louder, prouder, sad, you know, whatever it is, makes a huge difference in how fast you can do it, how the good the end result is gonna be. And then especially with all the sort of <clears throat> Easter eggs. I mean, if you're a Sabaton fan and you're playing the game with me as the commander, there's a lot, of, lot in there that people who aren't familiar with Sabaton aren't gonna get, you know. World of Tanks meets the band Sabaton again. Something new is coming. The Spirit of War game event will take place in World of Tanks from August 27th through September 6th. You all know the rules. 10 days, 10 stages. And the main reward? A tier 9 premium tank. 
the gorgeous STRVK.